Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to talk about such a component as file picker. I'm going to show you how to build a layout for web application and how to make a business process to upload the file from your computer into the database. First of all, imagine that we have an application for a book library. We can create a book title, put an author of a book, and select the book genre. But suddenly, the book library asked us to add a feature of uploading a book cover. How do we actually can do this? First of all, let's open our data model designer and see that we have a book table here with title, author and genre fields. First of all, we need to add a field for book cover. Let's say it will be the cover field of a file type. Save this scheme and go to the web application designer. Open the books page and see the model we have here for adding the book. For example, we want not only to upload the book cover, but have it here as a preview. It is logical to assume that the cover is an image type of file, so we can use an image component for this. First of all, let's put a container here and make its items to be centered vertically. Put an image component inside it and the button component we're going to use for picking the files from the user computer. Okay. Save the current layout. And before starting to build a business process, Let's create a new global variable for saving the file ID from the preview. Let's navigate to the global variables tab and create a new global variable for saving file ID. It will be of a file type cover. Save the changes and let's get back to our model. Create a new business process for button. and find the on-click trigger. Once the button is clicked, we need to start the file picking process. This can be done with select files block. Set the max files to be one and file types as an image type. If the file is picked successfully, we need to get just a single element of an array with the index equal zero, as we have already limited the number of files to be one. And set the index to be zero. The selected file has to be uploaded to the server for further work with it firstly. Server request post files type of log has to be used for this. Expand the resulted file with expand file block and see that we have an ID here. This is the unique ID, which file obtains usually after sending to the server, and this ID is used to write the object to the database. Let's save this ID into the global variable we created recently. Set variable block has to be used for this. Provide it to the value, and find the name of the variable we just created.
Okay, finally, here we just need to update the image component to show the uploaded file as a preview. Find the image update properties block. As you can see, it requires image URL of a string type. So, how can we actually get the file's URL knowing its ID? First of all, we need to convert the ID into a string type. So, this can be done with the two string block. We would also need concave string multiple type of block. So we are ready to make our file URL. The full URL link is the slash API slash underscore files slash ID slash download. So in the first place it goes slash API slash underscore files. Then provide the ID converted to the string format. And finally we just need to put slash download. In the end, just specify the image component ID and provide the resulted URL into the image URL property. That's it. Let's save our business process. In the final step, we just need to edit the existing business process for creating a book object. We just need to provide the image ID from the global variable we created. Let's save our business process. Save the project and publish it. We are ready to see the new functionality we just added. Let's open our application. Open the books page. Let's add a new book here. For example, LSS Adventures in Wonderland Lewis Carroll The genre would be novel, it doesn't matter and upload it its cover So as you can see the cover was uploaded successfully Save the book here and see that the cover was uploaded